Hi, my name is Mohammed Ahmad Yunus and I am a consultant at Media Shark. Today, I will pitch you a proposal that we won't reject. So let's begin. Project strategy framework, perspective, position, and plan. As this is standard for RP and generative AI implementation. First one is perspective, business background, objectives, and concept. As Media Shark is a leading consultancy and it is excited to submit the tender to the Federal Government of Australia for the implementation of RPA and Genetic AI technology at Centrelink. Our proposal is in line with the Centrelink's mission to provide efficient and accurate support to eligible individuals and families ensuring the well-being of vulnerable populations across Australia. Business background and objectives. Centrelink, as a major commerce service agency, plays a crucial role in administrating social security payments and welfare programs. Its objectives are streamlining processes. It includes automotive repetitive rule-based tasks, data entry, manipulation, data extraction, document processing and report generation. Includes eligibility checks to perform efficiency and reduce manual effort. Second one is improving service delivery. It improves service delivery by implementing genetic AI algorithms to enhance natural language processing capabilities. It also enables intelligent chatbots to provide accurate and personalized responses to customer inquiries, thereby improving customer experience and reducing wait times. It includes Enhancing data security and privacy, it is very important for the customers. We will implement robust data security measures and it will comply with the privacy regulations to protect sensitive customer information throughout sensitive customer information throughout the automation process. Now coming to position, project definition, and strategy focus. First, we'll define project definition. The project aims to pilot the customized implementation of RPA and Genetive AI across Central X Family Assistance Program, and it will include child care subsidies and family benefits program. The pilot phase will span for one year. That include closely working with Central Link to troubleshoot and fine tune the systems for optimal performance. Now, coming to strategic focus. And the purpose is to deliver an innovative and robust automation solution that, refu that provides revolution to central X operations leading to the following outcomes. For increased efficiency, we'll engage automotive repetitive tasks through RPA. We anticipate a significant reduction in processing times, manual efforts, allowing staff to focus on more valuable added tasks. Second one is cost reduction. RPA can perform the operations repetitive task by reducing the human labor cost. Moreover, RPA can reduce maintenance cost by doing it remotely. So whatever the issue is in the software, we don't need to engage another engineer and certainly it will reduce the cost. Second one is enhanced customer experience is provide enhanced customer service by integrating genetic AI that will empower intelligent chatbots to produce and provide accurate and personalized responses to customer inquiries, leading to improved customer satisfaction and reduced wait times. It includes data security and privacy, where we are committed to implement data industry leading security measures, ensuring the protection of sensitive customer information and compliance with the privacy regulations. That also includes risk, risk reduction. RPA will reduce the risk of errors, mistakes in the database or data entry programs and bots will detect fraud anomalies long before human can detect it. Phase one is RPA implementation and it is in-depth process analysis. Our media shark will conduct a comprehensive analysis of existing processes to identify tasks suitable for automation through RPA. First one is customized RPA solution. Our team of experts will develop a tailor-made RPA solution 
that aligns with Centrelink's specific needs and requirements, addressing legibility checks, data entry, and document processing. We'll also perform user training and support that will be comprehensive training to Centrelink staff, ensuring a smooth transition to the automated system. Continuous support will be available throughout the pilot phase. Second one is phase two, that is generative AI integration. AI algorithm deployment. Our team will deploy a generative AI algorithm to enhance Centrelink's chatbot capabilities, enhancing accurate and personalized responses to customer inquiries. We'll add natural language processing improvement that MediaShark will fine tune using AI models to better understand natural language, ensuring chatbots interact seamlessly with customers. It also includes performance evaluation that will be continuously monitored in chatbot performance, and we will refine it based on the user feedback and emerging trends. So what is the success and failure criteria of RPA and generative AI implementation? First one is efficiency gains. A minimum of 40% reduction in manual effort and processing times through RPA implementation is detected. It includes customer satisfaction and it can be achieved at a rating of 90% based on the feedback and response accuracy from generative AI powered chatbots. It includes data security compliance that has full adherence to data security and privacy regulations throughout the project. As per the project metrics, uh, it is based on following criteria that includes RP implementation that will be implemented in Central Lake. It includes the implementation, implementation time of four months. The native AI will last for five months. And service and support will be for one year. And the user training will be confirmed upon the client's requirement when we will finalize the proposal. Our suggested term of contract will be one year, which can be extended based on the mutual agreement between the two parties. Um, Mary Shark is confident that our proposal aligns perfectly with Centrelink's strategic objectives and requirements. Our expertise in automation technologies and commitment to excellence makes us the ideal partner for the automation project. We look forward to the opportunity to work with Centrelink in revolutionizing service delivery and ensuring the well-being of vulnerable populations across Australia. Should you have any inquiries or require additional information, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for considering our tender. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.